Well, welcome to January, SEMC family. Thanks so much for your encouragement, support, and prayer over the course of the 2022 and throughout the Christmas season. It's been a, a wonderful transition into the start of this year. And we wanna encourage you to continue to, to understand the mission that God's called us to as a uh, church family here in the corner of Easton Telford. We have a unique contribution uh, to the overall work that God is doing in the city of Sarnia. And we're thankful to participate with so many other churches towards those ends. You know, as we start this new year, uh, we've got some tools that we want to be able to share with you. Maybe you've seen them already either online or you've picked up a paper copy. The uh, Abide um, devotional is available and it encourages you to listen to God, to get to know Him. And there's three different tracks that you can uh, kind of listen to God's Word through and read the Bible through a year uh, or read the New Testament during a year or read through the Gospels like three times during the course of the year. And so you can go at your own pace and there's some questions there to help you interact and to listen to God and to be aware of the world around you. May God use that to strengthen your life. We're also looking to put together uh, some uh, study groups later on uh, this month. And if you'd like to participate in a group, we have books available, these Jesus-centered books available uh, through the church office are $15 a copy. But if you could let us know, uh, and there are some groups that uh, we already have designated and we'd, we'd uh, continue to set up more as people are, are interested in participating. So let us know that by contacting the office for that. Uh, that would be great. We have a, uh, our mission, local mission focus for this month is, uh, is to help uh, restock the food pantries of, uh, of the food banks uh, here in our community. And so if you can bring non-perishable food items uh, into the church all throughout January, you can do so on Sunday mornings when you come, or if you're here during the week, whether it's through with Senior Sing that meets on Wednesdays, or maybe you're here with one of the Upward groups, then uh, you can bring those in there and uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll add it to what is here. And then at the end of the month, we'll distribute those to local food banks. So non-perishable food items, like pastas and, and canned items, those would be really, really beneficial uh, at this time of year. So thanks for participating in that. And then we have our mission team to El Salvador. For the first time in three years, we get to go back, which is why I appear without any hair. Our team leaves on January 7th and uh, we'll be returning on January 15th. Uh, there's a blog that you can follow along and just see your e-bulletin uh, for, for that information. And we appreciate uh, those who, who uh, not only read, but also just provide some interaction and encouragement back to us through the course of the week uh, through that blog space. And so thanks for uh, allowing us the opportunity to, to represent uh, our church family and our city. Uh, to the people in these communities, in this community of El Salvador that we'll, we'll be working in. And uh, we look forward to what God's going to do. So thank you for your prayer uh, for, for us uh, in, the, in that effort. And now, so that's a, that's a local community effort and, um, and a global community effort happening in January. But, you know, you think, oh, I'd love to be able to participate in a, a mission endeavor, but I... I don't speak another language or I can't physically be able to go or I can't afford to maybe uh, participate in a trip like El Salvador. The good news for you is uh, Upward Basketball is starting again after a two-year absence and so we are so excited that it'll be season 10, the long-awaited start to season 10, and there are many opportunities for you to participate to demonstrate and share the love and the truth and the grace of Jesus Christ with our community. We have over 100 students registered. That means there'll be close to 300 people through our, our facility every single week on Mondays and Thursdays, and especially on Saturdays. And each game day, they get to hear a devotional that is Jesus-centered. And so would you Think about the opportunities that you can that, there, that exist for you to participate, to serve with us and among us as we demonstrate uh, the love of Christ through the sport of basketball. You don't have to know basketball or be good at basketball to join. You have to have a love for people and a desire to see them 
uh, understand and grow in a relationship with Jesus. And so you can contact Teresa Sierzma about getting involved in Upward. Thanks so much. We look forward to a great month. Uh, stay connected through various means. Our website is the best means for that. And you can subscribe to our e-bulletin. And uh, we appreciate those who connect in person on Sunday mornings, as well as those who view our services online and those who participate in the various ways that we are involved uh, throughout, throughout the course of the week. And so continue to look for those opportunities. Take care for now, and uh, thanks for your prayer for our, our, our El Salvador team. Be praying for our Upward team and participate in, in donating uh, food items to our local food bank. Take care.